to one and hitting the button. Okay, now, yes, here we go. Um, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is a special video uh, we got going on here today. Um, one that we have not done in a pretty long time now, like you've seen many of me and many of my co-hosts on here. But, you know, um, you haven't really done one with the Urban Wrestling Network in a good minute now. And, like, with a lot going on with the news and wrestling right now, I was like, you know what? I think we should talk about a, vi a video. So first, off, let, let 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 me have you introduce yourself. Like, um, let me give you the floor for a second. Hey, brother, man, thank you for having me on your show. This is your boy Jorge, as you know, uh, aka Muffins Martinez, and like he says, the Urban Wrestling Network, and we talk about wrestling. So, let's so do yeah, this, my brother, let's do this. Let's talk about it. let's talk about it, and let's talk about the biggest news story that's been going around for the past few weeks and obviously there was more news last friday but uh the vince mcmahon situation Ooh. this whole scandal thing you know with a lot going on people taking sides it looks like and i don't know how more how much more information is going to keep coming out about this but you know we've seen what happened a couple weeks ago when this was first initially announced uh you know him having an affair and paying off a paralegal and apparently you know apparently let me say allegedly because a lot of this is allegedly uh that's a key word uh what him and john laurinitis you know they're passing apparently passing around this girl and whatnot and you know like i said i forgot how much they say he paid her but you know with a with that with that happening, you know, he stepped, Vince McMahon stepped down as CEO, and now Stephanie is the interim CEO of the company. But Vince McMahon is still around in the company and still running stuff and is still head of creative. And we have seen Vince McMahon show up on TV several times now uh, on SmackDown and Raw. Now, I'll say this obviously, he ain't going to come out and address the whole thing right on TV, but I thought it was like some Wolf of Wall Street he was doing out there. Like, hey, I'm not going. I'm not fucking going. I'm not going anywhere. Okay, like I'm basically Vince is out there telling you like he's still the man. I'm still running the show. I'm still out here. This is just like, you know, yeah, Stephanie is like the intro, but that's from the business side of the company and whatnot until this, you know, quote unquote investigation is over and stuff, whenever that will be. But, you know, Vince is still running creative. Vince is still doing like I said, even if Vince is out of power, Vince is still running the show behind the scenes remotely one way or another. He's still running the show no matter what. Now, obviously, last Friday, with more information coming out about, what, $12 million he has spent on four different women through about multiple county years now. And I don't want to go into names because the people – apparently people know who the names are or that's what they speculated. Like, Because I've been hearing names from – Christy Hemme being yeah, thrown yeah, around, yeah. or Don Marie, or uh, Jackie Gata, or I think Molly Holly, who currently works in the company right now, if I'm not mistaken, um, and whatnot. And you know, like I said, with Vince, um, like I said, paying paying all these women uh, to, like I said, he basically just had an affair, and you know, he just a lot of NDAs just to, you know, keep them quiet and don't say anything. But now this is coming out. And stuff. Uh, people wonder what is going to happen and how he will address this. Um, what, what do you what you think about it, real quick? Uh, just kind of give you the floor. Um, after initial what I just said. You know something. What people really need to understand that is there's wrestling, and then there's the real world of what's going on. What he did with the NDAs and stuff like that. You know that's immortal. We we all know that, but. Was it illegal? No, it's not illegal. He sure. he had an affair with with somebody maybe 16 years ago, and then he's like, you know, please keep it on the hush hush. Blah, blah, blah. Like happens in every other job that you work for. You probably had a little fling at work because back in my days I had a bunch of flings at work, and you say, you know, keep it hush. Five minutes later, half of the people know what's going on. So in this case, he made some payments. That's where the 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 moral part comes into part. NDAs get signed. You can't say anything. He. What people need to understand is none of these females, four females in the last sixteen years, were forced to sign an NDA. They were never forced with a gun to their head. You gotta sign this, or 
or else. No, they were offered an amount of money. And they say, yes, let's not forget that. The women say yes to the money, then sign the NDAs. So, you know, you know, that, oh, he's a monster. He's this, he's that. No, he, he, he did what he did to keep everybody hush. NDAs were signed. The women took the money. They left. One one female took. I want to say uh, uh, they say like over six million dollars. That money is that money is changed life right there. You know it will change your life for a long time. You get that money, you get the hell out. You start a new life somewhere else. You know, and what people is upset about is that nobody knew this. If it wasn't because of the where the money is coming from, is it coming from his pocket, the NDA money, or from the company? That's all the only reason why we found out about these affairs through all this, you know, investigations and stuff like that. Immoral, yes. Illegal, no. So right now, when another day comes, the stakeholders need to decide. Are we going to have this guy being the leader going forward? Yes or no? What is Peacock going to say? What is Fox going to say? Uh, I don't want him near your company anymore because he's going to make us look bad. So you either have him leave or we're going to pull our deals that we have with the other E and go somewhere else. And you guys going to have to find a new channel to do your business with. That right there is could happen. But to be honest with you, I do not see Uncle Vince go anywhere because once again, nothing that he's done is legal. Unless he's using the company money. There you go. If people want to say, oh, this, if people want to say, oh my God, he did this, he did that, he's a monster. No. Once again, the females took the money willingly. Nobody ever held a gun to anybody. Say any other reports. Nobody's kids or anybody girls were kidnapped. You got to do this or else. They, they, they signed the paperwork. They took the money. They moved on. So, there's a lot of rumors of names. We will never find out unless the person who signed the NDA comes out and says, I'm one of the, the females who did this. But Uncle Vince is not going to go anywhere unless he gets pressured from Peacock, NBC, Fox, and they have him. He has to step down and we're not going to do business with you anymore. It's simple as that. And, and and another thing, once the, the the dust settles, and they find out that it's not the company's money, and it's out of his pocket, dude, everybody's gonna forget about it. They just had a report that back in WrestleMania from Dallas, that show from the two days made Dallas two hundred eighty million dollars in revenue Shit. for that weekend alone. Two hundred and eighty million dollars in revenue. For the city of Dallas, down in Texas, in a, in a, in a weekend of WrestleMania and, and NXT 2.0 or whatever it's called, you can't deny the power of the universe being WWE. He's he's the mastermind behind everything that's wrestling today. Unless Vince McMahon kills somebody, so, so sexually abuses somebody. A kid or something, Vince McMahon is going to be the CEO of that company, unless he gets pressured out of his seat. It's as simple as that. Yeah, okay, because like, there's a lot of key things you know you just said right there that you know are true. One thing is the you know sponsors, especially, and we've seen how WWE has reacted, especially if sponsors want to back out, especially a few years ago at WrestleMania yes. with the whole moolah thing, and they end up just changing it to yes. women's battle royale because. Snickers was kind of looking at him like, you know, hey, what what's this? Like, what what's going on here? Like, what's this? So y'all better do something and change up, or you know, you know, we're gonna back out and everything. So unless this affects the company, you know, especially money wise, then they're gonna have to really, you know, change up stuff. So when it comes to sponsors, like WWE is really worried with sponsors. Like they make sure they got to keep their sponsors happy with a lot of stuff nowadays and whatnot. Uh, and, and and you know with, with Vince, I'm sorry to cut you. I'm sorry to cut you oh, off. Wait, wait. I'm sorry to cut you off. I'm sorry to cut you off. But you haven't seen one sponsor pull out yet. Yep, none have pulled out. Usually, yet. when something something like this happens, 
as soon as somebody catches a wind or something's happening, somebody's already pulling out. Oh, we're going to pull out, we're going to pull out, we're going to pull out. You haven't seen anybody do anything yet because they're waiting to see exactly what's going to happen because they know nothing's going to happen to Vince McMahon. He, he did nothing illegal. That That's the, the word that people forget, especially, you know, Twitter or, or social media. There's nothing illegally that he did. Except for the morality part of him paying money for the hush money, not sex money, because people say, "Oh, he's paying for sex." No, he's not paying for sex. He had an affair. Now he's embarrassed because he had the affair, and it, it's going to come out, and it might ruin his career or whatever. And he made payments to people to keep hush. So, yep, if, if, if anything else, somebody would have pulled out already, saying, "Oh, we we don't want to be part of this." Yep, and, and they haven't. And, and you know, you're right. Like, yeah, morally, yeah, you can say he did wrong. Yeah, he cheated on his wife and everything. But it's like, you know, is it really illegal though? Like, like say he didn't use the company but, money. Let, but, let's yeah. find out he, he used company he, he, money. Yeah, he cheated on his wife. Morality. He paid people, females, the money to keep hush. Morality. He had a, a, an affair. Morality. That was all moral issues that he has to fight with himself and he has to come when when he's on his dying bed or whenever that happens he's gonna have to come face to face and answer those questions of morality of what he did but other than that there's nothing illegal that he did that's the magic word illegal nothing yeah. illegal that he did because like and i'll say this here like with the reaction i've seen people have uh, online has been in, in crazy because I think people don't want to hear both sides of the story and whatnot. They they hear one, they just automatically assume. And listen, don't, I'm not saying Vince McMahon is no saint. This guy has done a lot worse than what we're hearing right now in the past. And like me and my friend was talking about this a while ago. Like we can name a lot of things about Vince that he has done worse. But when his first initially came out, like one of my co said that this is probably the most tamest thing, you know, They've heard about Vince. Like, there's way worse shit in the past they could have got him on, but, you know, they didn't, they they didn't right get him on it. The tamest. The tamest, right? That's the key. That's the, that's, that's the good word. The tamest thing he's done in the last 30 years has been this. That's crazy to say something like that. Yeah, the tamest. Like, we was talking about that because, uh, you know, even, even with my other co hosts, um, like Kyle, I think you've interacted, you know, you uh, interacted with him on Twitter. And whatnot, because he rather hear yeah, like yes, he rather hear both sides of the stories than you know just kind of going off one side. Because some people believe now with more information coming out, some people are already saying like he did it, he needs to step down. And you know, I've seen like a lot of these you know quote unquote journalists online. Uh, yeah, saying, please. Don't everybody, get everybody's on a journalist on Twitter, bro. We we're, we're we're all journalists on Twitter. Me, you, we're all journalists on Twitter, man. Yeah, they must be believing Meltzer or something, or um, the who who else is on that? That sap dude or whatever his name is. Yeah, or yes, yes, like yes, 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 sap guy. But uh, I'll tell you, I'll tell you one thing though. I'll tell you one thing though. If this happened two or three years ago when uh, the Me Too movement started, this would have been a whole different ball game. If this would have came out around that same time, I'm pretty sure some people would already been pulled out of that and he definitely would have had to step step down no questions asked but that, three years true. later you know three years later and then also social media bro we're in the pc era everything has to be politically correct you cannot have any one person not say something against what somebody did and if you don't say anything on, on their behalf then you are also the monster you're the problem you're the problem, Master oh, I've Price. Seen that. You're supposed to be out here tweeting against Vince, but you're not. You're instead of you being the solution, you're the problem right now because you're not helping out in tweeting against this monster, Uncle Vince. You know, because everything is PC, brother. If 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 you don't agree with it, or if you don't say anything against it, you're done. And, and it was funny. You know, it's funny. I I think I like the tweet. That has something to do with the whole Vince thing. And I remember someone tried to tweet me and called me a dick rider and whatnot. I just kind of laughed oh, it off and geez. ignored him then. I, I like, you know what? 
I'm not even going to respond. I just kind of laughed at it. Did like do said like he says you're a dick writer. I'm like, "Oh, am I now?" Like whatever, dude. What? I I just kind of like moved what? on. I didn't even respond cuz I, I like the tweet they really? said like oh, you're you're a dick writer. Like whatever. I don't care. Like I I'm like I'm sure. not even really going to take my time. Like I could have interacted back if I wanted to and just say just say some off the wall shit, but I'm like, "Yeah, I'm not going to give my time a day." So like let him let him wallow in his own whatever and whatnot yeah. but you know you made a point though like you said this is probably a few years ago maybe but you know with the whole and you know i'll say this right now with the whole me too thing i think it's a lot of hypocrisy to it at this point they've been proven wrong i could go on a whole thing about that but i'm not gonna go on that right now but um you gotta call bullshit on them for many reasons especially right nowadays so they are already crumbling as it is but uh, you know one thing with vince and, and i'll say this with the people on the internet and i've said this for a few years now the same people you see complain about Vince, whether it be this or anything else, is going to be the same people you see on TV bowing and singing along when he comes out to his theme song. And, you no chance in hell. And, you know, just but thank you, Vince. Hell. And, yeah, you no know, just doing the walk. And, you know, no chance in hell you got to. And, and just you know, everybody's just, you know, like these are the same people that. That that you know they all they all say that they hate them, but you still go buy a ticket and watch the show at the end of the day. Because like one thing I th- feel like the Twitter fans is this: some people say it's like a war between either the E drones or the AEW cultists. Because oh, some God, people, because some people like especially the AEW cultists, they believe they won. They feel like this is the thing to beat Vince, and it hasn't really done it. Okay, it it just hasn't. Be what they haven't been with what they where they be Vince that they haven't done they haven't even put a dent into anything Vince related so. so like it's like a war between them now uh and stuff especially what I've seen online of people going back and forth over over the whole thing uh and whatnot saying like oh he did it or he didn't do it and it's just like people just been going back and forth like you know like they, they feel like they've beaten him like well you haven't really beaten anybody so they're just looking for a reason so they can feel like yes, they please. have won and you know one thing also you would no. you know you touched upon at the end of the day like these people still did accept the money at the end of the day okay like you did decide to accept the money so you trying to come back now that's a lawsuit when you think about it they can take you to court three, now three million dollars to to the Three million dollars to the female from this year. I heard, I read probably close to six to somebody else, and then whoever the other two were, total twelve million dollars. Yep. So yeah, I'm I, sick to my stomach, but you know something, I'll take the money and I'm signing the paperwork and I quit. I'm gonna uh, still be living lavish though. I don't have to come back here anymore. I, I'm I'm rich right now, bro. I'll take my money. I'm running. I'll take my money. I'm running. And, you know, one other story. I know this has been brought up, but some people feel like this may come up because, uh, you know, it was a story years ago. And someone did bring this up to me be about, you know, Vince being at this, uh, what was it, like a tanning salon. I don't know if you had heard this story uh, about him, like, whipping his dick out or something like that. Like, have you ever heard that story before? I don't have it. I don't remember. I, I've, remember I've heard that. stories. I, I've heard stories like I, I've heard stories like that. Yes. But not never about Vince. I heard stories about Randy Orton doing that and other wrestlers in WWE doing that, you know, back in the days, but never once events something like that, no. Yeah, because I know that story's been going around. Like, I don't have it memorized, so I, I, I don't want to, like, you know, get details wrong and whatnot, but it's a yeah, story yeah. with him at a tanning salon, and I think he was, like, telling some woman there to take a picture, or a thing, but he was, like, whipping his dick out at the same time. I don't know if he, like, forced or anything but like 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 i said i recommend go looking that up like i said that was a whole alleged story and whatnot but i've seen people yeah if if there was if there wasn't an nda sign if there wasn't no nda sign and money no yeah that that, that, that's that's definitely true and you know people think that i like i said i don't really think vince is going anywhere and like i say vince is too like so someone say vince is too stubborn to leave like vince will fight his way out of this like he's not really gonna go down and like it's like even why it's like i said for with him showing up on tv i think that pissed off people more because they want him to react they want him react but he's not gonna do that he's just gonna come out here and basically say him, Fuck him y'all doing, I'm still that him dude. doing that yeah 
Yeah, him doing that in SmackDown and Raw the following week, that's him being defiant to what's going on and everybody else on, on social media. That is, he does him telling everybody, you know, shove it, I'm still here. Basically, like, fuck y'all. And they said when he went to the back, they well, said, they say, he said, fuck him. He went to the back. They said when someone had, somebody brought up in the back after the whole thing, he was like, fuck him. Like, he's like, I ain't about to get put, y'all ain't about to push me around. Y'all ain't, y'all, no, I'm, I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing out here. Like, that, that's the thing. That's just him being him. He's not gonna back down from these people and stuff. Hey, 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 you know, um, like one other thing, you think like it's, you think it's a mole leak and all this stuff? Cause a lot of people feel like Johnny Ace there is gonna be the fall guy and all of this. Well, I, I'm pretty sure Larinitis Lar- will not be coming back. I'm pretty sure he's going to take a lot of the fall. But at the same time, he's going to get paid a big amount from the family if and when he does take the fall for this. So, I mean, he could retire anywhere and the family will be on, on their grace for the rest of his life. So, you know, but, you know, somebody's going to have to take the fall, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be him. Oh, yeah, and let's remember these people did hire him back a second time, which I was surprised they had hired him back a second time and whatnot. So, you know, yeah, even well, him. I mean, he, he's he definitely, yeah, there, there's, I mean, actually thinking about it, no question about it, he is going to be the fall guy because he's the middle person. And it's going to follow him, but I'm pretty sure this already has been talked Amongst the McMahon and him outside of everything, with no just two or three people in the room only, so it doesn't get leaked out or nothing like that. Yo, you take the fall, you don't worry about it. You'll take game. You will be taken care of. Yeah, because so. we, we like we've heard stories about John Laurinaitis, and you know we talked about this before we you know recorded. Uh, but you know it's even like well you know Moon itself you know at Ember Moon you know Athena had brought up about John Laurinaitis talking about you know kind of telling the women, uh, you know hey you need to dress more like Mandy Rose. And then I remember it was a story they said years ago he told um, AJ Lee there like saying like hey nobody wants to fuck you or, or something like that. They say he told yeah, her that. Yeah. Which that, that well, was those things like this is like, where where is this stuff coming from? Like who was there? You know what I'm saying? Is this stuff credible or not? Like who was there and gets put out? Like who did you get this from? Like who said this? Did you get the person's name on word that was well, this person and your story said this that they heard this? You know, dude, like there's so much shit guests said. Well, Master Bryce said this. Okay. Who was there? Is this legit? Well, we overheard him say that. Like, who's okay. your source? Like, someone say, who, who's yeah, your actor? Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Those, yeah. Thank you. Who's your act- source? Or if it's the actual person that Maybe was the, there. There's someone or- shit just thrown out there. Yeah, someone shit get, Well, you know, and then you have all these crap sheets, you know, writing stuff. Well, you know, according to sources, this was said, they overheard this all. Who is the sources? You never see a source get mentioned in anything. Yeah, who and Dave Meltzer? This stuff is just being made believe just for us to click and bait and read this shit. Probably Meltzer putting this stuff out. Probably him. Wouldn't surprise me. Um, if it was him trying to report this stuff or saying he's got sources and whatnot. Because like you said, where are the actual sources uh, coming from and whatnot? Because like like I said, when I when I saw the thing come out last Friday, I was kind of like, well, doesn't sound good, but it's like I kind of you got to look at key stuff. I'm like, OK, did he take company money? Was this forced? Because all of this mostly sounds consensual. OK, all of this has been consensual. It hasn't really been like, you know, forced assault. Like I say, yeah, morally, it's, you can say it's wrong, but it's like what crimes was committed and people say like, well, you know, the board. I don't. You, they say the you board just came. You said it right now. Yeah, you you just said it right now. Where the money come from? That's yeah. That's his this own. Is how, this is how everything came out. This is how yeah. we found out because it's where the money coming from, and then everything else just roll from there. True, and you know, with the company also, um, some people say, oh, they can't. Well, they oh, they could vote Vince, but they said Vince has like the majority of shares within the company, so you can't really vote him out. Fifty-one percent, brother. Fifty-one percent. 
Yeah, so like I don't I don't really think he's about to go anywhere. And I think he like I said, someone said he's too stubborn to really go somewhere. Like he's not gonna let no one because some people think Nick Khan was gonna be running the company. And don't get me wrong, Nick Yo, Khan. I, I, said, I said power. it I said it before. Yeah, I'm I said it before I'm gonna say it again. Peacock, NBC, Fox. Those are the only ones that have any type of power against Vince and the company to say. If he doesn't go, we're pulling out. Yep, that would cause that's it. That'll be the only way that man leaves because he'll have no choice. And he either has to go or destroy Nick his own company. Gonna be the one, yeah. or destroy. Right, his, no. He could have to leave or destroy his own company that yep. he built. So. And I'm so pretty sure like, he's think... that stubborn. I don't think he's that stubborn to destroy his own company. So. Yeah, it's it's like it's too much it's too much behind it and whatnot. But like I said, with, with Vince though, like he, he gonna fight his way out, like he gonna fight one way or another. Like he ain't gonna go down easily. He gonna he's gonna fight. Okay, he's gonna fight back. I don't know if any more stuff is gonna come out. Nobody doesn't know and whatnot. But like to what I have initially seen so far, I don't really think a lot is about to happen to him. Okay, like the show is still the same. It's still the same thing every week. It's not like nothing has changed. He's still running creative. Like it's the same. It's the same thing we see on the show. Business is still high. They're still making a lot of money. Yeah, it's a scandal. I get that. Uh, and I know a lot of people are talking about that. But um, it's it's like, is he really about? To, um, it's not like he's going to jail. He hasn't been the trial yet. Um, if there even is one. If like he, he, they, like, they won't, they, they won't be a trial because they just gotta find out where the money is, the money trail. That's it. Once they find out the money is his from his own pocket, the the thing is gonna get wrapped and put to bed. Unless the money is coming from the company, now that stocks, now that right there is a whole different story that we don't know much about. I don't know much about the stock stuff, but once you start taking money from your own place to pay for all this shit. And stock starts going crazy. That right there is investment, and now you're in, in some CIA, you know, government shit right there, and that's a whole different story. Yeah, and nah, yeah, that'd be a whole different conversation, and if that would be the case, so yeah, now nah, if that came, yeah, I don't in, know that's nothing. I don't know nothing about that stuff, so I can't even not even say anything. Yep, that's that's true. And then, like I said, unless it's not that, then like that'd be a whole different conversation. We will be having right now then if that will be the case but like i said what we've initially have heard already in the past you know few weeks and stuff you know like i said I, I said i don't i don't think really much is going to um it's not gonna happen it, it looks like like i said like marley it's, it sounds bad morally but um like what what else are y'all gonna expect to um find out of this like i said you know, like I said, Vince is a person, like, yeah, like I said, it's not like the guy hasn't done bad shit and everything. Like, I'm not going to say, I'm not, like I said her earlier, it's not like Vince McMahon is no saint or anything. But um, I don't think they really going to get him for um, for for this thing unless something drastic happens. I, I don't know. No, okay. no, 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 no. Let, let, let's just imagine, let's just imagine that the government says, you know something, this just happened with Vince uh, at WWE. We're going to start making a law now that we're going to send people, investigators to every company that has a big budget you know, over a billion dollars or whatever, like Apple and shit like that. And we're going to look at the books and then we're going to find out if and who else has done stuff like this other than Vince and their companies for years and maybe centuries have this stuff has been going on. Yep, like how much information you really find if you know they start looking through and just looking at all records and you know everything that's tallied and whatnot, and then you know let's see what we really find out then in all of this stuff and whatnot. Yeah. If, if that yeah. would to be the case, if they, they just had the government just going looking, but like I said, this is a internal investigation within the company itself, so they gonna you know find out on their own internally and whatnot. So. Like I said, we don't know the investigation is obviously still going on, so we know, you know, it's still, it's just still going on, okay? But, yeah, I've seen people just kind of go on saying, like, you know, maybe 
Triple H will take over the company or, you know, I like Triple H is not taking over the company. I'm like, even I know that. And Triple H's got health problems. He's not about to run the company. Okay. So that that's not happening. And they, we seen how they took, take, took NXT from him. So that's definitely not happening. And people thought Shane was, and you know, it, it, it's a lot. Okay. It, it's a lot for what people say, who's going to run this stuff and, and everything. But like I said, just just going on everything uh what we talked about, um, it's just kinda like I don't know what else really can happen right now. Okay. Because uh, I'm not gonna lie, when the stuff came out, the second half stuff came out on Friday, I almost expected him to come back out on TV last Friday again. I was almost expecting that. <laughs> to see what ha- what happened. Like he's just gonna come out, do the same thing again, and let's see if the people still cheer for him and you know bow down and sing along and stuff if he came out again on friday because even i'm like yeah let's see if he comes out there but like nah he didn't come out there last friday nor did he came out there last monday also so he he was not about to you know come come back out there and and wasn't that so like like i said it's um it's a lot you could say but like i said i'm just kind of going off initially what we're just going off initially what we know and what we've read and you know what we um what we think about it because some people even looked at me like oh you're on the fence about this um I'm like well I'd rather hear the whole story first um uh, before I make any final judgments because at first when I I even I said when I first initially heard the first like the first part of it I'm like I don't have a lot to say about it until there's more stuff yeah, comes so. out about it then maybe like I'll give my opinion like I'm doing right now like since there's been more stuff I'm like okay maybe we got to talk a little about it right now like I said I still want to hear on the other side of the Vince but we know Vince isn't going to comment on this I'm sure like his lawyer is going to put like a statement out and I'm sure we'll hear that at some point but there's no know. reason for him to comment about anything because he's not on trial or nothing like that so there's no reason for him to even say one word about this to anyone yep just going yeah, I'm just gonna keep doing my thing, basically. Like that, 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 that's it. Like, I'm just like gonna... nothing. It's business as usual. It's nothing happened. I'm here to make my money and 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 grow our company more. Yeah, that's that's true. He's just gonna go and keep doing doing his thing. That's that's kind of it. So, like I said, like I'm, like some other people told me also, they don't they don't really think anything is going to happen happen from this. Unless we, unless we hear something, I don't know, drastic. Um, hold, hold that thought real quick. I I, I gotta get the door. Uh, go go keep talking. I, I just gotta get the door real quick. Yeah, man. Like like Master Prince just said, bro. The only way something happens if they find a dead body somewhere in one of his warehouses or the office, uh, some guns, um, illegal, you know drug stuff going on in the company somewhere in the basement stuff is being made but other than that I mean like like uh like B Dollar just mentioned man nothing's gonna happen to Vince nothing's gonna happen to Vince he he'll have to face his demons when his time comes yeah like judgment day comes that's when he's gonna have his, yeah yeah All basically right, yeah. you know when judgment day comes for Vince, that's when he is going to have to answer those questions. But other than that, I was just saying, unless you find a dead body somewhere in the office, or they making coke down in the basement or something illegal drugs. Yeah, and, and it, you know, there's one other sort of thing I, I heard somebody bring up the other day, and I kind of thought about it. Um, someone brought up like, you know, should we hold Vince accountable? Should he for be what? accountable for his actions? For what? <laughs> For what? I guess this whole like, thing. Tell I guess me for what? That's why I wonder. Hold accountable Vince for what? About Hold his action. accountable for what? That, I guess I'm still stuck on that. Hold Vince accountable for what? I guess because of these NDAs and uh, quote unquote, you know, women he's messed with, apparently, the. The talent, uh, I guess this one is apparently talent this time, apparently, and wasn't that. Because <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, that just caught my eye when I was reading it the other day. 
Like it needs to be held accountable. Oh, yeah, you, you got you got you got me on that one there, brother. You got me on that one right here. <laughs> like it needs to be held accountable. I, I I don't know. I don't I don't know on what. I'm I'm thinking too, like what for cheating on his wife? That's that's what I want to know. Like cheating on his wife for like I said, we don't like I said we don't know if he spent company money, so we can't say that. Uh like I said, none of these people were forced. He didn't you know, sexually assault these people or anything. Like this was all consensual. And you know, he paid them to be quiet and now they've broken the agreement and now you know, they probably could be going to court for breaking the agreement, so if they if they talk, that that's the only way. So So yeah. So yeah, it, it's nothing more I can really say much about this topic after this. Uh we've been talking about it for at least about a good what has been thirty five minutes we've talked about this now. Yeah. Yeah. So unless we hear something else, then you know, maybe we'll come back to this on a later date and everything, but you know, right now, it's not much we can say other than what we have just read for the past that's been going on for the past two weeks. And, you know, it's not like we don't really think a lot is going to happen. Yeah, we could say a lot about Vince and a lot of bullshit this guy has done and everything, which they could have got him on other stuff. But this time right now, don't really look like much they can really kind of get him on unless, like I said, unless it's company money. Or some deeper shit, then maybe they can. But right now, like I said, business as usual, Raw, SmackDown, you know, all the shows still the same. He's still head of creative at the end of the day. He's still running the show. Even with Stephanie in charge, he's still remotely running it one way or another or telling her how to run it. And, you know, just to, you know, please the shareholders right now until further notice whenever this thing will ever blow over. Um, at yes. this point, I don't think this is the downfall of Vince McMahon as everybody wants to put it and try to still go off no. this whole like it's a war, like, um, well, you know, it's the war now with AEW and WWE. Like, dude, there, there is no war, okay? It's no war, it, it hasn't, it, it's, it's just no war, all right? Even when it was like the Wednesday night thing, I remember a friend of mine telling me a long time, I'm like, this is not a war. This is not WCW in the WWE. It's not Nitro and Raw. This isn't a war. This isn't a battle. Uh, this isn't even a scuffle. This is more. That was more of a, a um, what's the word? Uh, a faux pas or um, <laughs> or, or a slight. I'm trying to use something that the smallest word for a fight and whatnot. And it's like, like I said, this is this is not a war. Like some people still believe this is a war. I just think the funniest thing out of out of all of this is just the Twitter comments and online of people going back and forth of what they think about this whole situation, whether they are on his side or they're not on his side, or just people saying Vince needs to step down. Vince needs to step down. You know that's not gonna happen. Like you know it's not gonna happen. It's like it's time to end it. It's it looks too bad. Um, well, like, well, he's got to defend himself. So, I I I don't know. Like, I say everything's still the same right now. Like, I say unless we hear something drastic, then or some change happens tomorrow, or some news happens, then obviously shit's still been the same. Okay, like at the end of the day, we are. I'm I'm not trying to beat a dead horse, but you know, like you told me before. They did accept the money. And now, years later, we're hearing this. So, like I said, um, you got to look at them, too. Then look at Vince. You got to look at all parties involved. And, you know, look around and, you know, pay, like I said, rather read all the information, then, you know, then you can pick. Like, don't go off initially what you just read. Look up. Exactly. That's why I even one thing I'll say is this. Always do research. Do research. Research is key. Yes. Because if you don't yes. read out stuff yes. and look up information and go on your own opinion, it's like a lot of people said the mainstream media controls the narrative of how they mm. want you to think instead of actually going up, going out on your own and looking stuff up. Because nowadays you bring information that you looked on your own, they're going to look at you like crazy and everything, man, until it actually finally comes out later. And then they'll start believing you and stuff. 
So it's always best to do key research on things before going in. This, you know, kind of, kind of explain stuff. Like I said, because like, yeah, you just hear it on the news and TV and all that, but it's like, um, that's just some of it. It's not the whole story. So like, you gotta read. You gotta have your own mind in all this too. And like I said, you can pick on whatever side you want, but don't let, you know, it's no pun intended, but control the narrative. If you get what I mean. Mm-hmm. So that's all I really got to say about this whole Vince thing until whatever happens at whatever point until we hear some. We'll, we'll probably come back at a later date, but right now everything still looks the same. Nothing has really changed. Nothing has happened. So right now I don't really think anything is going to happen right now. So like I said, we 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 covered this. So uh, you got anything else? No, sir. So, yeah, I, I didn't in that, man. We're, we're out of here. This was a special edition video of um, this whole thing. So, um, yeah, this was a special edition of the whole vent situation. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the figures. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm laughing what you're doing right now. Uh, but, yeah, this is um, a special video of just the whole vent situation and kind of our opinions right now to what we think about this whole thing and see what will happen. And stuff. Okay. So, yeah, other, other than that, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at um, Hooded Night 890. Uh, follow the Urban Wrestling Network. Um, all our videos are on the website right now and whatnot. So, like I said, no, it's been a while since we've done a joint video and everything. I think the last time we really did a joint video was uh, what? Um, I don't think it was WrestleMania. Last no. year. Yeah, last year. All out. All yeah, out. Last, that, last year, WrestleMania. Last year, yeah. All out. Last year, all out. Because me and you did WrestleMania, but you know, all, all out was a different video then. Because, um, okay, yeah, because, um, what's the name was on too? Because, like, three of us at the time, yeah, Chef, yeah, Chef, okay. uh, when yep. we had all out, so that's the thing. So, you got anything to plug before we get up out of here? Uh, you plugged everything, brother. I am good to go, sir. All right, follow us on Twitter. Um, and yeah, just tell us what you, uh, you know, what you think about this whole thing. So, feel free to comment. Uh, whether you agree or disagree, please uh, feel free to comment, and uh, hopefully one of us will respond back uh, to the video and whatnot. So, yeah, other than that, uh, I'm out of here. Uh, we're out. Peace, and uh, yeah. <laughs>